Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Gary with One Tenth Scale, and I am pretty stoked to be bringing this unboxing and initial thoughts video out. So once we get through the uh, unboxing here, about four or five minutes, there will be some uh, some little uh, driving and initial thoughts videos. I'll probably sprinkle some initial thoughts in here, but uh, got the box open. Um, as you can see, the laser nut in all of its glory, uh, based on the Losi 10 platform, so not a brand new rig, but uh, different from the DBs and the other ones out there. Um, so you get your typical instruction manual in the bag with some goodies. And if I can get this out of here, we'll see. Um, instruction manual is actually you know, pretty basic, but not too bad. It gives you the basics of uh, what to do when you first get it, how to bind, how to adjust throttle. Uh, just brake, steering trim, and some basic ESC programming for different modes, drag brake, uh, all that good stuff. So, um, also your smattering of tools and a little card for some swag. The pinion um, is for if you want to switch between 3 and 4S. It's supposed to come geared for 4S, I believe, and you put that pinion on if you want to run 3S. So, um, the uh, hex driver seemed pretty good quality, but that multi tool, the hex. Uh, the nut driver is it's nylon. I couldn't even get the factory wheels off with it. So um, get your two batteries here, and usually there's four, so it should be another two somewhere uh, inside this box here. Going to be our transmitter. It should be the Spectrum DX3, which is uh, AVC compatible. There's stability control. Uh, and not a bad transmitter. Um, feels pretty good in the hand. Tons of knobs for adjusting and dialing stuff in. Steering rate, uh, brake rate, um, all that good stuff. So not a bad transmitter. Um, uh, good range, you know. No, nothing to complain about. Not the best in the world, but um, not bad for an RTR. So, so that's basically what comes in the box. And oh wait, right, two more batteries. So there's the four batteries total, which you'll need for the transmitter, and then the uh, rig itself. So let's go ahead and get the rig out. And it's held in with typical zip ties to the bottom, so you snip those and it pops right off the board. So drop test straight out of the box. Mini drop test. Um, Suspension feels really good on it, and I mean, just look at that. This thing's killer looking. Um, really good replica of the full size one, which uh, Laser Nut did an awesome job on. My only real gripe is you can kind of tell the wheels and the uh, decals don't really match. Kind of a shiny bronze versus a dull gold. But um, I mean, if you compare it to pictures of the one to one, they, they, <laughs> they nailed it pretty good. Uh, they did a real good job on it. So, about as close as you can get with uh, mass produced RC. So. Um, well, the body clips off, and it has the hinged body, which I really like, especially coming from like the Ex Exoterra. Nowhere near that easy to get the body off. So, um, 3S, 4S electronics, uh, the, the Spectrum 130 amp, so you need a decent battery for it. Uh, 550 or 540 XL sized motor, um, 1900 kV, so plenty torquey. Um, for a big rig, 2.2/3.0 uh, wheels with BF Goodrich tires, and all in all, good clean setup inside. They did a good job with wire management and the sway bar holding the body up, whether on purpose or accidental, was a nice touch. And body's hooked up to the cage, really nice everywhere. I don't see any easy brake spots. Um, like you know, Traxxas uh, UDR has a couple, and the Eddy XL have a couple. Um, pretty minimal body panels though. So um, full size spare on the back and it looks really good. Um, Losi definitely it took account of that tire when they dialed in the, su the suspension. Uh, handles really really well. Um, suspension feels really good. So, so yeah, so I took it out onto the trails in our neighborhood. We've got a decent little set of trails and this just kinda as I was about to hit the trails here just doing some high speed runs. Um, well, high speed on 3S. So these are all Protec 4100 Ma 3S LIHV batteries. Um, but the rig handled just fine. Um, minimal traction rolling, even on the grass, dirt, high speed. Um, sway bar suspension are really dialed in good. So the AVC is a little, a little too nanny-ish. Um, find it to be a little overactive at some points. But um, as you can see in those videos, there the. Uh, 
suspension is dialed in really well. So um, I've got no complaints with that. I, I, I need to mess with the brake settings and stuff a little bit. Um, maybe increase the drag brake a little for my driving. But straight out of the box, you know, the thing handles really good. It's tough. I had my fair share of smacks and, and stuff in the rocks and logs. And, uh, I'm, you know, I'm thoroughly impressed. So, uh, but all in all, yeah, I'd, I'd say it's a great platform uh, to look into, especially if you're you for racing or just want a general trail basher. Um, since it shares the, the Tenacity platform, um, some of the parts are interchangeable with uh, the other Tenacity models. So Losi's doing a pretty good job of getting their parts on the side, explaining which ones are and are not compatible. So, uh, so yeah, definitely two thumbs up for me. Um, I'm digging this rig. I'm looking forward to uh, driving it next season in uh, Texas RC Rock Racing. So y'all have a good one. Remember, like and subscribe.